नमो विष्णु पादाय राधिकाय क्रियात्मन श्री श्रीमद भक्ति वेदांत नारायण नाम श्री कृष्ण लीला कथा ने सुधाक्षर औदार्य माधुर्य गुणयुक्त वरम वरेण्य पुरुष महांत नारायण तम शिसा ऋदंडीनाम भक्त शिरोमणि श्री कृष्ण पादाज उदय कवि चैतन्य लीलामृत सार सार नारायण सतत जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्याना श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादि श्री गौर हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे वर्तमान भूत भविष्य प्रसेंट पैस्ट फ्यूचर वैष्णव प्रणाम वाच कलपतर कृपा सिंधु पतिता पावने वैष्णवे नमो 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 ना आत्मेंटी फोर्थ राइट so today is hera panchami sri lakshmi sri sri lakshmi vijaya utsava oh today is hera panchami oh it is fifth day since ath yatra so searching are looking for that's called hera पंचमे फिफ्त डे सो लक्ष्मी लुकिंग फॉर जगन्नाथ चैतन्य महाप्रभु then chaitanya mahaprabhu start so many things with this you know like remember everything was lost but chaitanya mahaprabhu bringing back see as the kali yuga progresses we are losing everything now very fast but this kali yuga is very different actually danya kali yuga, most fortunate so and chaitanya mahaprabhu himself appear and then is bringing back so many lost things if you see vrindavan who would have known you know it was already lost but Itana Mahaprabhu desire was that he sent all the Goswamis, Lokanath Goswami, Bhugarbha Goswami first. Then he asked them to revive Dham. Then he sent Rupa Sanatan, Jiva Goswami, Gopal Bhatta Goswami. You know, so great stalwarts. They were. They brought back the glories of Dham. Today, apa? Can you imagine? very difficult to get any place in vrindavan 
you know, 500 years ago, Radha Kund, Sham Kund was gone. Uh, it was only a little name was left. Kali Ket, Gauri Ket, little pond of water. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself discovered. Who, can, who else can discover Radharani, you know, Krishna, stuff together? So he brought back the glories. Same thing, Navadip was gone. You know, Muslims occupied days that. Then through medium of Bhaktivino Staku, Bhakti Siddham Saraswati Taku, uh, Bhakti Prajnan Keshav Goswami Maharaj and Gurudev, you know. Now Parikrama, so many is. It's becoming a, actually one of the uh, tourist part in entire Bengal or something like that, you know. His son is building a big temple. Uh, so, bringing back the glories. Otherwise it was lost. Same way the knowledge. Others, other, otherwise knowledge. Cows, for example, you know, pure Indian breed cow. Now whole world knows A1, A2 milk controls. Many of his family, you know, cow without, you know, hump and with hump. What is the difference? So, the glories of the cow. So much. You take anything, always, like any other animal, okay? Their excrete is impure, considered as impure. Their urine is considered impure. The air they breathe out is impure, right? We know our own is poison for ourselves. Excretion, this and that, you know. But the cow is amazing. Cows, you know, milk, supreme, period. Urine, whole world recognizing. Cow dung, bah, you'll be amazed. His breath also, cows, what they breathe in and when you breathe out, is, is Curing, you know, to purify the environment is so potent. It's only uh, animal, you should not say animal, but you know, lack of English word, you know, go, you know, kama you know, exception, you know, it can benefit us, it can bring. You know, you see in the sense, there is something called entropy. Disorder is increasing. Whatever we do, disorder is, we are adding to the disorder. Technology, polluting things. Take fine things, pollute. Pollute the air, pollute the water, pollute the ground. You know, liquor industry. All that is so much pollution. They again put back to the ground, underwater, groundwater is getting contaminated. You know, you, it's, uh, we are only damaging, 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 adding negativity, negativity. So soon we will be drowning in our own negativity <laughs> and then we don't exist. That's why Krishna, he knew we will we will finish off his creation. Okay. So he is smart. He has kept cow. His holy name. You know, Ayurvedic herbs and you know cow. 
ತುಳಸಿ ಏನೋ ನೀಮ್ ಏನೋ ಬಿಲ್ವ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದಿಕ್ ಸೊ ಟು ಕೌಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ನಾನು ಕ್ಲ ನಾನು ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಇದೆ ನಾನು ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಅದು ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಮಾಡಲೇಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೆ ನಾ ಇಲ್ಲೋ ನನ್ನ ಹತ್ರ ಮಾತಾಡಕ್ಕೆ ಕೇಳಿಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದಿಲ್ಲ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಸೊ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆಂಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ಸ್ ಗೋಸ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲೈಕ್ ಜಗನ ರಥಯಾತ್ರ ಸೀ ದಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ರಥಯಾತ್ರ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಕೇಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಿವೈವ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಏನೋ he is bringing out the insight that it was lost times i really wonder you know <laughs> if chaitanya mahaprabhu had not appeared if he had not sent all these acharyas what would have been our fate you know how fortunate we are we would have lost the total understanding significance so this is very very special time that's why i'm keep telling you know we are all very very fortunate fortunate to be born as human beings and in this age of kali uh as we don't know our fortune you know cannot estimate you know so don't that's why don't be negative at all you know be happy be uh somehow thank krishna uh are krishna ನಾನು ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇವನು ಸಿಂಧ ಶಿವಾನಂದ್ ಹೇಳಿ ಬರ್ತಾನೆ ಶಂಕರ್ನ ಹೌದಾ ಶಂಕರ್ ನೀಡಿರಿ ಶಂಕರ್ನ ನೀವು ನಾನು ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಫಾರ್ಚುನೇಟ್ ಬಾಯ್ Uh, how fortunate we can have even swami maharaj see swami maharaj went he started doing uh, you know ratya yatras around the world establishing the temple and hari krishna hello ಏ ಅಪ್ಪ ಐಸ ಕರ್ನೆ ಕೈಸ ಹೋಗ ಅಭಿ ದೇಖೋ ಅಭಿ ಏಕ ಗಂಟ ಅಪ್ಪಾಜಿ ಗೋಡ ಆಯ ಕೋಯಿ ನೈ ಜಾತ ಕರಂಗೆ ಅವರು ನಾರಿಯಲ್ ಕರ್ನ ದೇಖೆ ಕಿಸಿ ಕೋ ಬೇಜಿ ಉದರ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಕೈಸ ಕರ ಅಪ್ಪಾಜಿ ಪೌಡರ್ ಕರ್ಕೆ ಬಾದ್ ಮೇಲೆ ನಾರಿಯಲ್ ಕರಿ so it is uh, amazing why so everything like pre planned or something like that. you know you know sending our gurudev and giving so much understanding so um also ಸ 
So Gundicha, the air of Panchami. So in this one, the many things are brought out. Lakshmi, uh, see, um, now different kind of Lakshmi. See, Gurudev talks about uh, Chanchala Lakshmi and then studies uh, Lakshmi. Huh? So, um, so um, this Lakshmi is eternal, you know, she, like our Gurudev keeps telling, Radharani, However, Krishna expands. Accordingly, Radharani also expands. No? He accompanies. So one time, Nardumani was in Dwarka. All the queens of Dwarka were invited Krishna to come to their palace for the lunch, dinner, right? Lunch. So they are expecting, they, all of them invited, they are making ready. So they are all thinking, whom, you know, 16,108, to whom he will go? <laughs> to which palace he will go? And he will relish. So that q &A will be very, you know, very fortunate, thinking like that. So Nardumani is also accompanying. So as, you know, Sudharma, huh? Sudharma, the palace, there is a very special place where depending upon number of people, it expands, you know, the hall. Can you imagine? <laughs> you know, nowadays, if you build one capacity, 300, 500 people, that's it. It cannot increase. This hall, you know, million people comes, it accommodates. You know, any size, it will, it knows. <laughs> it's amazing. So, uh, Krishna came out there, he's by himself, right? Then mysteriously, he became 16,108. He entered every palace, same time. And Narmani was wondering, now what to do? So, Narmani also expanded himself. To 16,108. Okay, Narumani also. <laughs> also has that power, you know. <laughs> okay, so he is following Krishna, you know. What is doing that? There, uh, the queen is serving and she is very happy. Wow, uh, you know, he's, he has come to only my palace, nobody else. She is thinking like that. <laughs> Everybody is thinking like that. Narmuni is also amazing. See, see, he, he is there in all, all the palaces. Huh? So, and then um, he is taking, he is accepting their giving, and they are feeling good. So, uh, Narmuni was uh, amazed. You know? But this is okay. He says, he was not tarnished in a sense, he himself was able to expand. You know? Same way, oh, Gurudev is telling, this all influence of Yoga Maya, huh? the devotees can also expand. Northern money, you know, and, um, but definitely rather. Huh? There is no doubt about it. But in Vrindavan pastime, what happens? In Rasalila, see, this is the difference. There is one Krishna, Nanda Nanda He is dancing alone with all the gopis, same time. So fast. It's, you know, it's beyond any 
chintya. No. So that is astonishing. Becoming so many same time doing this, and, you know, is um, but each are independent. The, um, now the difference between the two Lord is independent in the 16th and eight. Whereas Subaru Muni, when he expanded to 50, you know, like that. If he you know 50 form, but if he lifts and one, all of them lift, you know, if in the copies. So but here is not like that, independent. So that is the difference. So, uh, but in Krishna's Leela, he is alone. That is, that is very human like, very sweet, you know. Uh, but he's so fast, still. You know? uh, it's like a fire, you know. On a, there is a little stick with the clothes wrapped around some oil in it. You put a fire, right? And then you take that, you do like this. It looks like there are so many of them, you know, like Sarkar. So like that, Krishna dancing so fast. Each one is thinking Krishna is only with them. Uh, that is very astonishing. Huh? So, in this way, um, so there are different kind of luxury. Now, so still, this is Madhurya, you know, uh, Aishwarya, this Leela. That's why she was not allowed inside Kundicha temple. That is like Vrindavan. As soon as he goes there to search for Krishna, Jagannath, the doors were closed. She is not, cannot enter. So then she gets frustrated and then beats everybody, damages little uh, Ratha, because she is in anger, no? little uh, man, huh? different kind of man. Huh? So destroys, uh, breaks Jagannath Vata. Then she will not come back in the same. She went on the main road huh? with well dressed palanquin, so much gold and all that. When she comes back, she takes a uh, different route. She, she was <laughs> because and then waits there because she is worried. He is Jagannath is going to come back. To specify R, R is he is going to reject. She is, so she is in Pandrama, you know. She doesn't want to leave, you know, lose Pagana. So uh, she is waiting there. When Jagannath returns back, apparently, uh, till then she is waiting there. Uh, that is the place where. Lakshmi's father's house. So Jagannath comes and the father in law, you know, right? Lakshmi's father is father in law of Jagannath. Huh? He reconciles them. He specifies Jagannath, you know, please accept back my daughter. You know? <laughs> so she circumvents Jagannath and feeds them. Uh, and then she goes back to her quarters, her residence. So it's um, all these things are amazing pastimes done there. Also, uh, like that's why our Gurudev is kept. Um, Even in Vrindavan, you know, she is doing tapasya at the Belvan. Huh? 
Okay, go. Bell one is there. Let's see. Tapasya. Because our desire is there, but she cannot give up her other attachments. See, her attachment is what? She is thinking, I am the wife of Narayan. I am born in a Brahmin family. You know, I cast. Now, with, to be with Krishna, you have to be born as a sour family. You know, so many other conditions. You have to get married. So, uh, this will be very difficult to give up conditioning. That's why, see, if Lakshmi herself has this conditioning and what to speak of mundane, you know, conditioned souls like us, you know. So this is why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is teaching uh, what it takes to do service to Krishna, to take part in his pastime, you know. Uh, then also, uh, Jagannath apparently, <laughs> you know, why he wants to go? There is another reason that I gave. See, he says, I am, you know, I requested Lakshmi to take care of the world. Huh? Uh, to look after the kingdom and its subjects. However, she failed. So, you know, how she failed, you know, Jagannath thinking, <laughs> how people are not happy, so much trouble, problem is there. Huh? So, uh, so in order to see if everything is carrying on nicely, I have to go and check the kingdom. Uh, so that's the reason he has gone out. Uh, then to appease her, he actually brings some sweets, you know. Um, like a rasgulas, like that. Uh, so, these things are also celebrated when Jagannath comes to specify her, to meet her, from him coming from outside. See, I went away to look after the kingdom, to see how we are doing. And to appease her, he gives sweets, you know, of her. So, um, then he was allowed into the temple. So, uh, it is very uh, amazing. And then he is establishing through like other day we were telling, Srivas and then Sarup Damodar, you know, the, the opulent mood, Mariyada Bhava. Because Srivas is telling, look, my Lakshmi is so opulent. Wow, where is your opulence in Vrindavan? You know, they don't have. <laughs> Then Saruddhama was telling him, you know, uh, supremacy of the mood of Raja Gopis. You don't even understand the mood of Vrindavana. Uh, so, uh, you know, it is, and we know the Chilak and all that. So, so much is there. The Madhurya is trillion, trillion times more powerful than the 
this Aishwarya, you know. So that's why I don't fall for this Aishwarya thing. Now today is also uh, disappearance day of Vakreshwar Pandit. So, Vakreshwar Pandit is very important because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu teaching our problem is the Vaishnava Pradas. Okay. You know, one biggest thing we have to face is Vaishnava. So, knowingly or unknowingly, right? That's why we always sing this prapna, you know. Knowingly or unknowingly, if I've committed any offense, please, please forgive. In this life or previous life, you know. So, but many questions will come. Now, we don't know whether we have done it or not. How do you know we have done it or not? The fact that we are now in this human form of life, or yes, stuck in this world, there's the indication. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so don't worry about our condition. But now what to do? How to solve this? How to get out? How to neutralize? Okay. So to neutralize, you have to, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taught this, you know, by criticizing. Like see our Gurudev says, never complain, never criticize, never stop chanting. Criticize. Engage in glorifying Vaishnavas, glorifying Krishna all the time. That is Amarasya, that is nectar, that is. So, right, usually we do sin by not controlling our tongue, you know. You know the tongue, right? If tongue is controlled, other senses control. If it is not, then no other sense will come into control. Huh? Two aspects of the tongue. Eating and then talking, right? <laughs> Eat prasadam all the time and then talk about Krishna's. Glorify Vaishnavas. You know, that way, you know. Uh, they're taking nectar. Huh? So, he says, we have to glorify. Now, what if we do not find, we don't know whom we have offended or what to do? We don't remember a previous life. Forget about previous life. One year ago, same day, same time, you remember? We don't. One month ago, one week ago, even yesterday. Uh, you know, but if you happen to remember all that, we go crazy. You know? So, forgetfulness also is very, very, very great gift of the Lord. But what to do? You have to suffer all the offenses. How to neutralize? So, Vakreshwar Pandit, you know, is, is through him is teaching. You serve Vaishnavas, present Vaishnavas, especially very top Vaishnavas. If you serve him, if you please him, then uh, your offenses to other Vaishnavas also will be wiped out. Sincerely, honestly, uh, feeling that I know I have committed. <laughs> Unlimited offenses. Lord is so many Vaishnavas. Oh, please, all the Vaishnavas, please forgive me. You know. So, through the most, you know, 
more advanced devotee will find. Huh? Vaishnava. Huh? Then you please him. If you please that way, then all the other Vaishnavas will also please and they will forgive. Say, um, in one Vaishnava, you can find all other Vaishnavas. Yeah? If you are sincere. And the future Vaishnavas also will find it. See, this is my understanding. No? So, because they are all connected. See, our Guru Parampara is continuous. Right? Like, if you are worshipping our Gurudev, in his heart, Param Gurudev is there. His Guru, right? No? Everybody is there, right? And then our Param Gurudev was so dear to Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. You understand? So dear. So that kind of pure line. Our, our Gurudev was also very, very closely attacked. Our Param Gurudev. Now we know. Bhakti Prajnan Kesha. So, if we please, we can please, if we please our Gurudev, we are pleasing Bhakti Siddhanta Bhakti Prajnan Kesha Maharaj, Bhakti Siddhanta, and by pleasing Bhakti Prajnan Kesha Maharaj, you are pleasing Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. By pleasing him, Gaur Kishore Das Babaji, by pleasing him, Bhakti, you understand what I'm saying? It goes on to the chain. You know, and by pleasing our Gurudev, we are also pleasing the, the new Vaishnavas, also future Vaishnavas. They are also, you know, it's not it. Like the past are there, future is also there. Understand? Not yet revealed yet. So, in that mode, you know, you watch it. In that. You know? So, our Gurudev is revealing. You know, only through him we can understand what Bhakti Prajnan Kesham or Param Gurudev is teaching. You know, through him, like that, like that. So, uh, in him everybody is present, all the Guru Parampara. You know? With understanding. But if we understand, no, I accept my Guru. I will not accept any other, you know, param. then that is uh, incomplete, understand? See, we are not talking like that, you know. Or you cannot jump to Param Gurudev like that, you know, see. Uh, you have to be... So, like this. So, Vakreshwar Pandit, what happened? Uh, Devananda, you know, there was one Pandit who was always reciting Srimad Bhagavatam, right? Studying, teaching, he had a school. But he didn't have a, a bhakti. See, Bhagavatam is actually bhakti. But he is a jnani, only you know, knowledge. Uh, dry knowledge, you know, past time like that. You could not see the rasa in it. But when one time Srivas was walking by, he heard the Srimad Bhagavatam. It doesn't matter for a pure devotees who were reciting. But they are hearing Bhagavatam, you see, it doesn't matter whom, that it will not influence them. All their bhav came out. He started crying, jumping, you know, sowing, crying. And it it's apparently disturbed the other students. 
And they said, wait a minute, he's disturbing our class. Because they don't know how fortunate you want to see. Very rare event. Imagine a devotee crying for Krishna. See, in this world we cry for when, when people die. What do we cry? Remember? Parents passed away or, you know. We cry because what? For them? No. Mostly for our selfie. Oh, she was, she was giving me money whenever I needed. Whenever I was angry, she was used to make dinner, lunch. You know, now who will do? See, I'm going to miss that. My senses, now who is going to, you know, pacify my senses? Oh, see. In other words, we are crying for ourselves, not for that person who passed away. Like, you know, you analyze it, you know. That's why when Uddhava went to Nanda Maharaj, you know, Krishna sent him with Vrindavan. He said, Nanda Maharaj started crying. First time Uddhva encountering, where someone really crying for Krishna. He understood <laughs> what a glorious person <laughs> is crying for Krishna. I cannot do that. Even though I want to cry, I cannot. My, my heart is like a stone. Now what should I do? Should I tell him, you cry more? But Krishna has sent me to pacify Nanda Maharaj. Uddhva is thinking, now what should I tell? I know it is glorious because very rare to come. So keep on crying. Is it going to, see he is asking question, is it pacifying? Then if I say don't cry, oh no, 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 then that's also not proper, right? He's fortunate. So he's, he's kind of got totally confused now what to do, how to pacify. Oh no, if you say, Krishna is God, he's everywhere, don't worry. Then he say, Nanamai, I thought you were intelligent, you were with Krishna. Now I understand, you were, you were, you were teeth has not yet born yet. <laughs> you know. So, Nanda Maharaj is thinking like that. So, it's so high, you know, that's why trying for Krishna, you know, doing everything for his satisfaction is so rare. If you do that, Krishna also will do the same thing. He will also cry for us. See? Yetam maam prapadyante. No. You will reciprocate. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this is the, you know, thing. Now, anyway, um, that's why to understand the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give this. So, he is establishing this sweetness of Vrindavan through Swarup Damodar to Srivas, hey Srivas, you don't know the sweetness, the wealth they have, so much, not even entire, all the Vaikuntha including, they don't have us, no, uh, like that. So, now these, um, our Gurudev, you know, see this Hera Panchami is so, so important because he's bringing out so many aspects of Raja, you know. Oh. What it takes, how Krishna can be pleased, you know. Oh. So before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, these things they were 
but nobody understood. So they were doing, but nobody understood the reason behind it. So he is bringing it out. That way, he is bringing out so many things. Uh, now, Vakreshur Pandit, we were talking about Vakreshur Pandit, uh, like Devanand. So, what happened was, um, so Srivas, you know, is that last. Then, he did not object when they were trying to take him away, throw him. She was Pandit, outside, you know, don't disturb her. He should have told them, hey, look, <laughs> you're so fortunate to come across a devotee who is really crying for Krishna, crying at the, at the hearing of Srimad Bhagavatam. I'm reciting Srimad Bhagavatam for so many lives, so many years. I, I have never cried for Srimad Bhagavatam. It never made me cry. We are all fortunate. Let us take dust from his lotus feet. See, he had no realization. He kept him up. Instead of telling that, he kept him. So it became a big offense. And the lotus feet of Srivas, you know, Vaishnava, Param Vaishnava. Then, of course, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will come to know. He said, Ugh. You Devanand Pandit is only by name. You cannot, you don't have even qualification to touch Srimad Bhagavatam. You don't know, understand. He never touched it, even though it seems like he's reciting, he can recite entire Bhagavatam without even looking at it. But it doesn't matter. You have not even touched it. You, you understand? This is the thing. You know, the essence, what is Bhagavatam, you know. So, Grantha Bhagavat and then uh, Living Bhagavat. Huh? Grantha Bhagavat, you can serve by Shravana and Kirtan. Living by serving him, Vaishnava, in a Bhagavad. You know, both has to go. Actually, by serving living Bhagavat, who is living the precept of the Bhagavat, you know, glorifying Krishna all the time, you know. Bringing the, the full essence of the rasa, you know, trying for Krishna, you know. So, that if we worship, that if we come in association with that uh, Vaishnava, we are so fortunate. So, uh, he, you, so, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was very, very angry. But what happened was, you know, it is for because some past good Sukriti or something, Devanand God, Devanand Pandit, he happened to meet Vakreshwar Pandit. You know, Vaishnava, he is a Vaishnava. They are very compassionate. Yeah, even though they don't need any service, see, Vaishnavas are not demanding her. Oh, you serve me like this way, like this way, they care less. No. They don't need of anything, right? Akinchan, Nishkinchan, meaning what? They have no desires. They have no expectation. You know, simple. Now, what, how we can please? But still, even by good words or even water, you know, thing. So he was able to please Bakreshwar Pandit. And then because of that surveying, Bakreshwar Pandit, you know, was telling the sweetness, whatever, wherever 
Vaishnava, they, what they will do? They will glorify Krishna, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all that. Then he told Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, glory such Chaitanya. So then, because it's coming from a Vaishnava, he was able to understand. Then he realized, yes, yes. I have ended, I have ended Shiva. Fear on me. See, that realization came. See, when we understand the glories of Vaishnava, understand? Then so many things that the contaminants in our, we will, we will start seeing ourselves. Before that, we don't see. Try to understand, okay? When we glorify Holy Name, or when we chant Holy Name, or glorify Vaishnava coming, what happens? We see so many anartha inside of us. Wow, so much dirt in me. Hey, wait a minute, before it was there, why you didn't see? Okay. So now at least you are aware, so it will come out. See, first thing is you have to see what do you have, you know, right? In our baggage. <laughs> that thing. Otherwise, you have to, if everything looks okay, oh, I'm okay, I'm I'm clean. You know, what clean? See, you understand? That's why when you start chanting, people say, so, so, so much bad thing coming out. It is better to not chant. <laughs> right? Or <laughs> better not to do ekadasi. By doing this, I'm at trouble. Right? <laughs> No, because you are doing a call, you see, yeah, because you are chanting, now we are seeing what we are made out of, or my real content, you understand? So when you realize whatever I have is all filthy, then it will try to come out. But if we think, oh, no, it's all okay, then how it is going to come out, you know? <laughs> You have to have the desire to get rid of it. Understand? Then Krishna and Guru makes an arrangement for the getting it, for surgery to take it out. First of all, you have to understand, yes, I need surgery, I need help, take out my stuff, right? <laughs> so, um, like that. Anyway, Devanan Pandit felt like that. And then, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came back, met, he was very happy. He said, I am pleased with you because you served my devotee, Akresha. Hmm? So, never do any Vaishnava Aparada. Huh? So, like that. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you know, forgave huh? uh, Devanam Pandit. Uh, so, same way, uh, this is very, very important. You know, what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is teaching to this age, a Brahmana, please hear, which through which mouth we have taken poison, same mouth we should take nectar, then the influence of poison will go away. Huh? Then this body, because of that nectar, it will also become immortal, then our here, please hear, huh? this is very important, huh? then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is telling, please hear, without knowing the, the criticism that we have, Without knowing, sometimes 
be criticized, right? Not knowing that we are criticized. Then what happens that uh, we are eating, we are taking poison, right? Criticizing others, not even knowing, then taking poison. Then Krishna Nama, glories of Krishna, is the highest, uh, you know, nectar. So that's why non-stop, with same mouth, you have to keep on taking this. Uh, Amrut, huh? nectar, nectar. So, through the mouth that you did criticism, offenses to Vaishnava, same mouth, huh? you pay obeisances to Vaishnava. So then you might ask, wait a minute, how to pay obeisances? I have to pay my obeisance by hand, not by mouth. What do you mean by that? Paying obeisances through mouth meaning glorifying, right? If you pay obeisances by physically, but not, you see, that is not effective. Pray, glorify them, yes. Hmm? That is also Vandana. Huh? So, the glories of the devotee is higher, highest. Huh? Yeah, that's why, O Brahmana, through your kavita, through writing, or through music, you glorify the glories of the devotee. Lord's Krishna's name, the glories of Krishna, For you, it is very pleasing and it is like a nectar. Whatever criticism, like a poison you have taken, huh? uh, that will destroy huh, everything. Huh? So that's why uh, that's why I'm talking to you all who are not unknowingly, unknowingly, if you have criticized a Vaishnava, I'm telling the truth. Now on, you should not criticize. Then, non-stop, you should glorify Vaishnava. Only through this process, this sin will go away. Because, other than that, if you do un unlimited prayaschita, meaning atonement, unlimited atonement, even then it will not go away, understand? So the Vaishnava Prada, criticism and all that, there is no atonement. Oh, if I do this, it will go away. No, only way is to glorify them, serve them, you know? So, so one who offender, offender, through which mouth, uh, yes, criticize Vaishnava, you should feel anutapta, meaning burned. Oh, <laughs> you should not have it burned. You should feel, you know, displeased with ourselves. No, 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 I shouldn't have done. No, no. uh, so, Accepting our offense, huh? 
then we pay obeisances to Vaishnavas. So then auspiciousness will happen. You know, we accept, oh Vaishnava, I am a friend of you. Knowingly, unknowingly, have mercy on me. <laughs> please, please, please. Bottom of our heart. Not like a show bottle or anything, okay? See, our heart should melt. See, if we know the, the, the degree of the Vaishnava, but that's why, see, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, this Vaishnava, is teaching, say, um, for example, Sachi Mata, okay, Sachi Mata, and then Advaita Charya, see, Advaita, he, he preached to elder brother Vishwaru, huh? Chaitanya, he took sannyas and went away. Now he is getting to teach small boy Nimai. So Sachimata is wonderful. Wait a minute. My elder son is gone. And now he is not leaving this another son. He is, he is preaching. So he will take also Sanya, he will go away. Then what my thing? So his name is not in her mind, she is thinking, you know. Uh, Advaita, no, he's, he's actually Dvaita, <laughs> you know, Dvaita meaning breaking, one who breaks, you know. So, like, she didn't tell anybody, but she felt like that. So, one time Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to my, you know, in a, you know, very Prakash, you know, one, one past time, where he was showing everybody. Um, on the past times. No. Then devotees were telling, please, you are merciful to your mother. No, I say, I, why? He is an offender. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself was not willing to show his mercy on mother, his own mother. Why? He has offended. Advaita. But can you imagine? Then what she did? He thinks she was so, oh, I'm, a, you know, I'm the mother of Sachimata. I mean, huh? Nimai. Of course, she may, may not remember. She is the mother of Yashoda. She has Yashoda herself to Krishna. You know? She may not remember that. She is not covered over by Yoga Maya. But she did not feel that way. Oh, so immediately went away. And then taking, wanted to ask forgiveness from Advaita. But meantime, Advaita Charya, what has happened? He heard that Sachimata, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not forgiveness to his mother because he has offended him. He could not bear that. Oh, how is it possible? Sachimata! <laughs> No, 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 no. She is worshipable for me. How she can offend me? You know, she is more than my mother. No, 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 no. So he got into so much dancing and then, I mean, thinking like that, he fell unconscious. So on the floor, he has, you know, he has fallen flat. He could not understand. So, Sachimata came there and she saw that um, Advaita Charya has fallen unconscious. He said, Oh, this is the best time. She is praying, Oh, Advaita Charya, please, please. Let me take your dust from your lotus feet. So she took, because he is unconscious. Advaita Charya is unconscious. Other, I think otherwise he will allow. Impossible. She is. She is worshipable for him. How he will allow? Rather, he will give up his life. No, not. So, but he is unconscious. Some of, you know, Krishna's mercy. So, he immediately, she took this opportunity, put 
dust from his lotus feet advaita charya said ask for you <laughs> i didn't mean this way you know please for so saying that she that poison was out from her system you know right and then chaitanya mahaprabhu came to know this then he called her and gave the audience you know showed her was very happy was very pleased so uh bah amazing that's why chaitanya mahaprabhu is preaching is teaching this vaishnava prar is so who is mother you know so uh so that's why he is telling how you if by taking poison through the activity of poison what happens our whole body becomes diseased you have so much pain then so when you take amrut when this poison get destroyed then this body becomes again a little healthy So same way again we should not do Vaishnava aparad mean the criticism hmm. because even if you do unlimited atonement this will not go away only to glorifying the Vaishnava that's why this every day we sing Vaishnava prarthana sundavan vasi jata vaishnave dharana you know atama vandana kuri sabara charana you know glorifying devotees vaishnavas in vrindavan navadeep Gauda Desh and wherever they are, doesn't matter which country and all that. We ask forgiveness, you know, please have mercy like that. So we were told by Parampara to sing this Pratna just for this, so that we can get rid of the poison from our system. Huh? So. Uh, So Mahaprabhu is telling, is glorifying himself, is glorifying Vakreshwar Pandit. See, we have served Vakreshwar Pandit. Because of that, you have appeared in my vision. Vakreshwar Pandit is Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's full Shakti. Huh? One who worships, one who serves a Krishna Pandit, he'll become, he'll obtain Krishna. So a Krishna Pandit's heart is Krishna's house. When a Krishna Pandit is dancing, see Krishna also very happily is dancing with him. wherever vakreshwar pandit goes all those places becomes uh, tirtho ka tirt meaning holier than the holy you know holy places all the holy rivers everything uh, they become vaikuntha maya so see this is how so and we have to see the granta bhagavat 
non different from bhakta bhagavat uh, thinking like that if we study bhagavat you know most aspirations will happen see devanand gaur devanand pandit what happened see he was studying bhagavat right he was reciting bhagavat but the bhakta bhagavat shrivas pandit was also sitting there chaitanya mahaprabhu is telling hey he should not make any difference between these two now when his students trying to take away this you know shrivas pandit see that mean they are offending bhagavat you understand what i am saying see they are sitting there devanand pandit is reciting shrimad bhagavatam right and his students are listening and here shrivas pandit moves in walks in he sits there and hearing bhagavat he gets into emotion he gets into bhav oh he is rolling the that now he is a is a bhakta bhagavat shivas pandit is bhakta bhagavat right the bhakt bhagavat who is living living so by hearing that bhagavat that is also living see this bhagavat itself started dancing crawling this and that you understand what i'm saying like krishna hearing his own glory is what happens he cannot control his emotions right he becomes you know the whole body became inside it depends it gets ex- like chaitanya mahaprabhu comes out expanded jagannath comes inside you know it depends how so transformation is there aripulation you know tear this now but both are not different see chaitanya mahaprabhu is telling that bhagavat that you are reading and she was who is listening was no different you understand that bhagavat they are reading itself is dancing doing all this see he didn't have that understanding that's why he is incapable of even touching the bhagavat you understand what i'm saying unless we convinced unless we understand that the scripture bhagavat is non different from the living bhagavat bhakta krishna we are not listening or we cannot touch bhagavat see this is the thing you no know? ah uh, i hope you understood ah huh? ah uh, what we are saying so to teach that uh uh through vakreshwar pandit somehow you are lucky so to get that understanding you know chaitanya mahaprabhu teaching ah uh, uh so when chaitanya mahaprabhu uh was in jagannath puri you know tota gopinath tota gopinath tota meaning gopinath is like a uh, park ha huh? like a park very beautiful tota gopinath uh, ameshwar ha huh? so that's where there other pandit used to stay and then chaitanya mahaprabhu manifested this gopinath he gave it to him to sir huh? so mahaprabhu advaita acharya then uh, 
Nityan Prabhu and Gadadhar, uh, uh, they were listening Bhagavat from the uh, Gadadhar Pandit. Uh, it's a, so, to whom we should listen Bhagavat? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is telling. We should listen through Bhakta Bhagavat. Okay. <laughs> we should hear Granta Bhagavat, Scripture Bhagavat through Bhakta Bhagavat. Then it is best hearing. Huh? So, um, the earlier go, Devan Panditi was not was not Bhakta Bhagavat, understand? By the mercy of a creation Pandit, maybe he became later. That's why hearing from that has no use at all. Huh? So, Gopal Guru was the disciple of Akreshwar Pandit. Uh, his previous name was Makaradvaja Pandit. Uh, and his father's name was Murari. Uh, the Gopal Guru, even from childhood, uh, he was staying with Mahaprabhu and he done service to him, seva to him. So when Abhiram Thakur, he, Abhiram Thakur, you know, associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, if he comes and pays obeisances, if you are not a Vaishnava, you will break into thousands of pieces. You will not survive. <laughs> or if you pay obeisances to temple, deity, or Sali, if they are not properly installed, they will also break. It was so powerful, Abhiram. Eh? So the devotees were all wondering, oh, he's going to come and pay obeisances to this Gopal Guru, he's a small boy. What will happen to him? They were afraid. So, <laughs> uh, uh, what did Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did when Abhiram Thakur came to pay obeisances to this Gopal Guru? He took Gopal Guru on his boy on his lap. <laughs> you know, uh, he, he protected him. So, from the childhood, why this Gopal Guru became famous? Gopal Guru. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself gave him the title Gopal. Why? Because from the Bhagavad itself, this boy teaching. Whether you are in pure state or pure state, you should keep chanting Krishna's name. Huh? Uh. Suppose you go to the bathroom, okay? <laughs> so one time in Delhi, in, in Chennai, asking Christian, you know, can there be God in our bathroom? They say, no, 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 no. He is in his place, looking down. He is in the heaven, looking down. He cannot be in this filthy place. Their understanding. So he think they, they will take you know, name of Lord in the bathroom, doubt it. But Gopal Guru is saying that, no, every time, yeah, even when you are passing stool, you should take the Naam, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Because why is saying, suppose you are passing the stool, and what happens if you die at that moment? What will happen to you? The holy name will not get contaminated by your blessings. It remains pure. It cannot be contaminated. So, in all places, now actually you should chant more at that time. See, we think, oh, let me pass, then take a bath, and then chant. Of course, don't do on your mala, that is different. But, you can keep doing on the mouth mala, okay? <laughs> right? This mouth mala should go on, you know, should be keep going. So, um, um, 
there is uh, another pastime um, with uh, Gopal Guru, Prabhupada. When Gopal Guru became very elderly, huh? mm, he wanted to take Samadhi, right? So before that is his disciple, Dhyana Chandra Goswami. He was exalted devotee. Huh? Uh, No, Dhyana Chandra huh? He has uh, brought out uh, scripture, very amazing. Huh? So, uh, the Radha Radha Kant deities, he gave it to him, Dhyana Chandra Goswami. Then, one time, Ah, you wanted to give samadhi to Gopal Guru. He went to Spargadwara. So behind that, what happened? This the servants of the king. Uh, they took over this Radha Kant mat. Huh? So seeing that, he started crying. Okay. Apparently, he said that when he was crying, that this, you know, king's servant had taken over the mud. He could not, when he started crying and then uh, he was crying and telling, you know, Gopal Guru, now what to do, this is what happened. Apparently, uh, again, he came back from the cemetery, Gopal Guru, he came back. Uh, and he made the whatever paper, whatever arrangement needed properly to make this. The, so that they will not disturb the, you know, go, the king's people. And then again he left, he disappeared. Even after that, he apparently said, uh, Gopal Guru was still doing bhajan in Vrindavan. You know, really. When the devotees went there, they became astonished with this. Uh, and they, you know, so even today in Radha Khan temple, Gopal Guru's deity, you know, is, is, is being served there. So, uh, toward the time of Ratha Yatra, in the front, Seven Sampradaya, you know, all the Kirtans going on. So, on the fourth Sampradaya, uh, the, the singer was Govinda Ghosh and the dancer was Vakreshwar Pandit. So, that Vakreshwar Pandit, huh? all glories to him. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is glorifying him. So, uh, uh, Makreshwar Pandit ki jai ho. Now, Gurudev is telling There was something about Yoga Maya Mahamaya, it's very understanding, you know, from the Brut Bhagavatam. This Yoga Maya and Mahamaya are called the para superior and apara inferior. Yoga Maya is sometimes called superior, Mahamaya is inferior potencies. They are perceived as two forms. Actually, they are one. 
but the virginal is para and its shadow is apara. The virginal is para, apara. Huh? They are not two. One is virginal, other is, is shadow. What is the meaning of shadow? What is the meaning of shadow? That which is non-different from the virginal, but does not perform the same function is called a shadow, right? That which functions, huh? non-different from the virginal, but does not perform the same function. For example, uh, The, uh, this is ordinary meaning, okay? For example, if you take the shadow of a tree, which performs no activity, right? Shadow of a tree, you can, it will not do anything, it will not grow. Actually, the original tree is growing, but not the shadow. Huh? Um, same way our own, our own shadow, huh? no activity. But Bhagwan's potency, shadow of potency is not inactive. This is the difference. Lord's potency, the shadow of Lord's potency is not inactive like that. In Goloka, Krishna's Rasalila, Krishna's taking birth, devotees serving Krishna. Krishna's forum, the gopis' forum, the trees and plants there, everything is manifest by the influence of Yoga Maya. And it is, and is true and eternal. They are true and eternal. Huh? Okay, whatever that Yoga Maya does is true, okay, and eternal. But what about the activities of this? It's shadow, Mahamaya, ma Aparashakti. In different places in nature, by the action of this potency, some things are unreal and some things are temporary. Some things are satya, real, and some things are false. Okay? Now, he says very important thing. All the relationships, that we create in this world are false. Whereas all the objects of this world are true, but temporary. Please listen, okay? He's saying, <clears throat> all the objects of this world are true, okay? But temporary. We cannot say they are fict you know, fiction like that, the Mayavadi say. They are true, but they are not eternal. Right? But they are temporary. Huh? We know, you know, you build a house, what, how long it will stay, or a tree. You know, it will be there for a while and then it disappears. Temporary. Nothing is permanent. But it is true. We cannot say it's fiction like that. But what he is telling is, all the relationships that we create in this world are false. The relationships we create. We can say, oh, for example, husband and wife. He said, this relation that we are creating, husband, is false. So, try to meditate on it. It is obvious, okay. <laughs> I don't know, you need explanation or not. Because how do we how do we really getting married? You understand? Marriage of the two deha, two two body, right? Okay, one body, this body ours is a factory of disease, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Two factories coming together produce what? More diseases, right? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Please forgive me. <laughs> you know, this world is. 
So Gurudev is telling it is false. We cannot have relationship. All we really that we create in this world are false. So our relationship with only Krishna that is eternal. That is not false. Okay. Because this this relationship is created on the platform of the body, which is changing. Their body is also changing. Suppose husband and wife, right? We are giving an example. Husband body, so-called husband, is also changing. Wife's body is also changing. So where is that relationship? Understand? Son or father or daughter and son, you know, mother. Through the soul, okay, the, on the platform of the soul, that is eternal. It's a relationship. If we establish based, 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 based on this body, all the relationships is false. This is what is true. You know, even though it's very difficult to swallow, but, <laughs> you know, but now what to do? See, uh, uh, bargain, what do you call that? Something they say in English, you know, best bargain, you know, something, whatever, what I'm saying is, all right, if you are husband and wife, there's no, okay, don't worry about it. But understand it is false relationship and try to develop a true relationship. Hey, I'm also servant of Krishna. She is also servant of Krishna. Let us work together mutually so that both of us will become strong, become better devotees, will be happy. So through relation with Krishna, they can be happy. If you cut out Krishna and trying to be happy through this body body thing, it will not, it will fail. Okay. Eventually it will fail. Because both are getting old, both are getting you know, disease, this and that. Now, what is that? No matter what we have, understand, whether it is disease producing or less, more, it doesn't matter. But we can engage this in the service of Krishna. Whatever Krishna has given, we see everything in this world as an instrument, as a thing to be served in the service of Krishna. Then that is perfect. Okay, then we make progress, you know. Don't worry about is impure or pure or anything, okay. Disease, or, we serve, let it for the service of. That way everything is contaminated in one sense, you know. They become pure by offering to the Krishna, understand. Otherwise it's impure, okay. You cannot say, oh, this is not, doesn't look so size. Okay, best of it, you yeah, offer it. You cannot say, hey, this is not good, let me not offer. See? Krishna sees that, you know, everything is impure already, you know, how do, how do you make? Unless you put Tulsi and all that, you know? So, the bow, the Tulsi will make it pure. Otherwise, everything is impure. So, so everything should be seen as a meant in the service of Krishna. Then there's a true understanding, you know, loving relationship, caring will happen, you know, it will manifest. So we are related as a husband and wife, okay, don't worry about it. If, are, if we are related with your husband and wife, that becomes True when we both serve Krishna, when we bring Krishna in the center, then we are really husband and wife. You know? That that will that's you know like that. So uh, without connection with Krishna is like he's telling false. He is giving other um, now. Another example, shells from the ocean are real and silver is also real. But the illusion of thinking the shells to be silver is 
unreal. These shells glitter just like silver, and both of these things are real. The seer is also real. Three things are real. But considering these shells to be silver is unreal. See, creating a relationship. Oh, this, this shell is silver. That is unreal. So, or uh, when there is a rope, a snake and a seer, these three things are also real. But the illusion of considering the rope to be a snake is unreal. See? So, all of us are undoubtedly real. But to take it that I am this body is illusion. And to think that all of these objects belong to me is also illusion. What is mine? What is mine? I belong to Krishna. I da. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. I da. Ni on ai ni pse irti rale. Ma bani bande na bande. Ai. Ai ai bande. I'm sorry. Our thing was cut off. Um, I think our time is also out. Um, I hope um, we understood what Gurudev is telling. The um, the relationship that we create in this world are false. Okay, whereas all the objects of this world are true, but temporary. See that husband and wife example. That person is real, you know, that is true. Husband is also true. Both are devotees of the Lord. Understand? Both are serving. And Lord is also true, right? These three are there. But the relationship that we create, oh, he is my husband. She is my wife, or that is unreal. That is false. Because you can see that is, you cannot create. Okay. So, 
So this is what is telling. So, but whatever it is, we have we have to live. Okay, best of the worst bargain. Best of the worst bargain, right? <laughs> Something like that. Uh, so, all right, we use this, whatever is in the service of Krishna, that way become purified, both get benefit, win-win, both are win-win. See, this is the thing. Yes, Krishna is also winning. All the three should be winning, okay? Husband and wife and also Krishna. How? Through Krishna. Because Krishna is winning all the time, who can defeat Krishna? Krishna is also being a very happy. So we connected with Krishna, then both are win-win. And uh, so there will be peace, understanding, tranquility, you know, like that. So this is what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is teaching. Huh? This uh, there are Panchami and uh, Jagannath Atiyatra. And the Gurudev Pah. So he is opening our eyes. Huh? Uh, so, Vancha Kalpaturu Vyascha Krupa Sindhu Vyayevacha Patitanam Pavani Vyo Vaishnave Vyo Namo Namo Namo. Hare Krishna Gurudev, then that crumbs. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram. Yeah. Ram, Hare Hare, Jai Jai Dhanu, Pranams to everybody. Jai Jai Dhanu, Jai Bhavad. Jai Jai Jai. Krishna.